Yo, super fun for us, C Captain. Good game, stay here. And today we're gonna get back into some more Tobots transforming robots. And today we have three, two, one, shuttle. This guy's awesome here. Let's take a look at the box really quick. We got Tyler King in his futuristic sci-fi suit. Bam, we have a shuttle on the back, looking really cool. Again, this has wonderful, wonderful epicness to it. You know, big bulky, as I'll always say, but they have a presence and great to set them up in design you know, and display, and here we got Shuttle. Now, I wanna get right into this, so let's take a closer look. And here we go, look at this guy. This is incredible. Let's take a look at it from a couple of angles. Again, I really like how they do the Tobot style. You know, it's big, it's glossy, it's shiny. It's a great toy, but at the same time, it's still a model, of course, an action model. And would you look at that? It has a really great design. It says Shuttle right over here. And as always, I'll point out how this one has a lot more engravings than usual on it, but again, not overdone and not at all distracting. It still looks really futuristic, very techy. I like how you even have these kind of reverse thrusters. There's a wheel right here and a translucent blue plastic. Looks awesome. Translucent blue wheels there. It's kind of an interesting choice too. They put translucent plastic on these uh, kind of like hinge areas here and then also right up in the the uh, arms up there. So that's quite an interesting choice. But I do like how it's on the visor here, which you can keep on or off when his head is hidden down, which make no mistake, they are completely aware of this and it's really cool they did this intentionally. And I think it's fantastic. I don't see any problem uh, with somewhat of a disguise slash revealed uh, face, but as long as it's not, I guess you could say, too obvious, then it, it would bother me. But this is still kind of interesting. It's not really, again, something you'll see when you look at the vehicle overall. It's, it's more still like hidden in the back near the thrusters. And look at the great details there. Oh, okay, so now I accidentally triggered his part of his automatic transformation. But what we're going to do now is we are going to transform it. But with the assistance of the toe key. So basically, this series still has toe keys. And one thing that's interesting about Galaxy Detectives is you can tell they're influenced still by things like Power Rangers, you know, um, I guess Voltron and stuff like that, because they ended up using animal motifs. So we have an owl here. And this is what's going to be the, I guess, kind of like the headmaster, right? So, like in Transformers, you have headmasters, power masters. And you know, in Power Rangers, you got the uh, the animal spirits and stuff like that. So, basically, he uses this owl, and as you can see here, um, it's relatively nice. I mean, they do have the uh, connected joints here being shown. And what you do is, this is what he looks like normally, of course. And then what you do is, you take the wings, and then you're going to connect them. And then that, in a sense, creates the uh, key. So what you're going to do here is, you're going to trigger part of the transformation with the key. Now, this is really cool. And what you're gonna do is in the thruster here, the mid thruster, that's where the slot is, you're gonna go ahead and insert, and then you're gonna turn, bam, and then his arms pop out like that. Really, really cool. And then we're gonna get to the rest of the transformation here. I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the legs, and then what you wanna do here, you gotta be a little careful. You want to spin the sides of the feet up, and then you wanna connect them. As you can see, when you take a look at the side of the leg, there is a port right there, and then there's the other connecting part. And then you kind of want to carefully, it's a very tight clearance, put it like that. And then you want to take out the feet. And then also at this point, this is when you'd want to pop the wheel in. Now essentially what you gotta do is you gotta twist the legs around because they're backwards, bam. And then pretty much you can take the visor up at this point. And then the last part for the arms, oh, I'll spin straightening out the legs for sure. And then the last part for the arms, what you want to do is you want to, on those blue joints, fold it in, we're going to slide it up. Same thing here, fold that in, slide it up, and then the wrists just rotate out. And boom, there is shuttle. And once again, it looks incredible. So I think the design is super unique, man. This feels like, you know, again, anime mecha inspired. I like it how he has the, uh, the thrusters out here. And even this, it almost looks like he's ready to make some kind of super mega plasma cannon attack from all of this. And, you know, the waist, everything looks nice. The articulation is fine. I mean, it's basic. Again, the toe bots have very basic and limited articulation, but that's not an issue at all. They're still very, very fun to transform. And their scale is, again, tremendous when compared to even just Transformers and most other, uh, you know, robot toys, right? I mean, it's an overall, it's a very, very good scale. Oh, mine has a little bit of a, I guess some black paint over there, I can probably wipe that off. 
But yeah, look at it. I mean, it's glossy, great presence. The back doesn't look too terrible. But what's nice is that, it, again, it basically encapsulates everything you'll see in the animation. And it looks great. He saw his rear thrusters back here. And uh, essentially, the, they actually even add more detail sometimes right here. So it's kind of cool. There's like a, um, a watch right there of all things, like right in the, uh, the center. And they, you know, they reveal like more, more uh, bits of details and stuff like that. They don't really get, you know, as super lazy. And uh, again, it looks great, even the back of his head. Now, one thing that's interesting is, usually in the animation, his, you know, the top part of his head right here, this fin or this um, rear wing is usually still propped up. But I also tend to put it back, uh, backwards like this. It gives him a nice sleek look. And it's interesting because I wonder why they would, again, add this type of transformation feature here if you don't ever use it, right? Because if it's not meant to fold down, then they would never have needed to add this, right? Because, whoa, I just broke his back. He's like, why? Why? But uh, basically, yeah, I mean, if his transformation didn't require him to fold his back, you would never need that because it would always be this way, right? You would just tuck his head in, transform him to a shuttle, bring him back out. So I kind of like to put it there. I like the fins up here and everything dual color they have the orange again the blue they even added some over here so fantastic figure this character is really fun he's almost like a perceptor if you're into transformers he's the smart scientist strategist you know one of three members of the original galaxy detectives so i definitely recommend you take a look check him out pick him up he looks awesome fantastic the face sculpt is great the detailing is perfect great presence gloss fit and finish Wonderful to play with, transform, and pose. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget, stay blessed. Keep your faith. Say a prayers. Spread the love, guys. Stay positive. You know how we do it with the Super Fun Force. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.